So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and remove any passes or tickets or cards inside of the Google Wallet application. Now, luckily for you, it's a pretty basic process. It really doesn't take too much time. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you basically want to go ahead and go through and make your way over into your wallet application. Now, I have the written instructions right here if you basically just want to go and look them up. So if you're already within the Google Wallet application, I can just save you the time. You want to open it up. You want to find the card or pass that you want to go ahead and remove. And for cards, you may want to swipe left to find it. And then basically for passes, you may need to swipe up to find it. You want to tap on the card or pass to open it up. And then at the very top, you want to click on that more option with the three dots. And for a card, you want to tap remove payment method. And for a pass, you just want to tap remove. So the way this kind of looks like at a very high level is you want to go and make your way over to your wallet application. So right here. And within the wallet app, you're going to find a lot of passes or credit cards or whatever else you have inside of this panel. Now, as you can see for me, I don't even have any within here. But if I did, all I'd want to do is just kind of swipe it, you know, right, right or left or, you know, up or down to find those particular cards. And I can go and open up that card this way. Now, once I open it up at the very top right, there should be a three dots that kind of show up somewhere, just like the instructions told me. So from there, all I'm going to have to do is tap into those three dots. I can go and click on remove and just remove those items from that particular you know, application. And that's really all I have to do at a high level. Now, if it's not working for you, you can always try either, you know, updating your wallet application. So make your way back into Google Wallet and update the actual wallet application that might end up fixing it. You can also try going through and restarting your phone, but that's basically how to do it. It's a pretty basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.